guys and welcome back to my channel this is a very spontaneous project band because i didn't really plan on doing this and then i saw jessica do this and and i was just like i need to do this so this is going to be finish 19 in 2019 project pan last year i did it with only lip products and i failed so um, I was kind of hesitant to do it this year, but this year I am doing it with makeup products and skincare, hair care, body care, beauty products, you know. And I thought some of them are gimme products, so maybe I can roll something in and do it kind of rolling style. But some of them are really hard, so I don't know if I want to do that or not. I have not really decided. Again, I've just chosen the products like a half hour ago or something, so. Um, I have thought about panning these anyway, so why not just choose, put them in a project? Why not? Let me start off with the makeup and I have not marked them. I have not marked these products, but I will for next time. I just think we should get started before, before this intro is way too long. Let me start off with the hard product of the makeup category and that is two things from my Urban Decay Gwen Stefani face palette. I have used this most of January. And it's very messy, so I'm sorry if you can't stand uh, dirty makeup. But I'm going to put in Angel and Lo-Fi. So Angel is the pale highlighter and that is the one that I have on today. I have most of these products on today. And I really, really love this highlighter. It's very subtle, but again, you can kind of build it up. It's just really, really beautiful. It's a kind of goldy tone and I have a slight dip. I have no idea if I can show you, but I have a slight dip in it and I'm really, really excited because I've only been working on it for a few weeks now. And then Lo-Fi is the bronzer and I've heard you can go through these bronzers really, really fast, or at least this one in the palette. So I thought I was going to put this in. I have it on today as well. I have a small dip, <laughs> nothing major, but again, I use a big fluffy brush for that and a small smaller brush for the highlighter so that is why there's a dip in the highlighter. I thought I was going to put these in because I use them every single day anyway. The next one is a Kimmy product. For sure it is my Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I only use this for setting my concealer. I have other powders for my face and it is this one and as you may can see there's not much in it. This is a Kimmy product for sure but yeah I'm using it every single day so why not put a Kimmy product into a project pen. Then I have a corrector from W7 and it is from the Got It Covered Concealer Palette. And if you saw my French project pan last year, you would know all about this palette. I tried to pan a corrector for like six months and it didn't happen. So I'm putting this one in this project. It is the yellow one. I have cleared out this corner right here up to here. So I have a little bit left. Another gimme product is a mascara and this is the W7 Last Tastic Fault Liquid Lashes. I have just recently begun to use this again. I really, really like it. It's not as good as I remember it being, but it's good. I really like it. And I have another mascara that are open that I also use right now, but that is only lasting till until the end of January. So yeah, I was, I just put that in. Another Dory 7 product is my Prime Magic Anti-Doll Skin Balancing Primer Camera Ready. So this is a purple primer. It does not correct anything, but it is a really nice primer. It's not my favorite at all. My favorite is the one I'm using right now, but that is also going to be done very, very soon. So I thought a new primer would be fitting into this pretty pen. Then we have my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And again, I know for sure everyone knows what this is. It is a white cream shadow and it is one that you have to sharpen so all of this is product. I will try to use this up and I have chose this pencil one because I have, I'm panning bright looks this year so I think this will be very very great. And second of all, this I bought in 2015 so I should use this up uh, before it dries out or is getting or is going bad or anything so yeah i'm going to pen that one i have chosen three liners because i really want them out this is the w7 9 to 5 waterproof eyeliner pen this is the 
black eyeliner pen that I'm using at the moment. It is the one that I have used today and I could tell that it was very dry. I don't remember it being dry so maybe it's almost gone so I put it in the project. And then we have a P2 Burgundy eyeliner called I don't remember the name Impressive Bolivia or something like that. Um, so yeah, it is a burgundy eyeliner, but on the eye it's very, very dark, so you can't see it's purple. But I had this in a product last year and I didn't finish it. And then we have a gush eyeliner in a black color. And uh, yeah, just a basic black. And again, I'm going to mark these products and I want to use them up. Pencils tend to dry up on me, so I really want to get use out of them before they dry up. Then the last makeup product on before we get into beauty products, it is a setting spray from Rimmel London. It is the only one I have, but I don't use it when I apply makeup. I don't need it to last because I don't go anywhere <laughs> because I'm home at the moment. But this is the Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. But hopefully I'm getting to work soon so I actually have somewhere to go and I have a reason for my makeup to stay all day. Oh, I can see it. Yeah. A little bit more than half. Onto beauty products and I have a mask here. It is also from a project pen last year. Uh, so this could be a, a return project pen though. It is Placia by Meritas Clear Up Face Mask for Young Skin. I had it in my friend's product pan and I am really low. I'm about here um, now. So I thought I would put this in because it's low and I don't mask. I am not in the routine anymore because it's not in the project. So I'm. it's good for my skin to mask but I don't do it. So I need to put this in the project too. Remember to mask. Then we have a Tony and Guy Casual Sea Salt Texturizing Spray. I love this one so much. And I love it for when I have curls. So my curls last longer. And this is the big bottle. I panned a small one in my panning games. Um, I'm really low. I had it in a pretty pan a few last year I believe in the summertime but I'm down to here or something so this will take me no effort to go through because I have uh, waves quite often. A perfume I have is Black Onyx Green Eau Perfume. I don't know. It is the perfume I'm working on at the moment and as you can see there's like half of it left so yeah. This should be done this year. And I'm excited because I don't like it that much. It's okay. I can wear it. Then I have the Nivea 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 in shower body lotion hydrating for normal skin. It is a 400 milliliter bottle. I have just begun to use this and I use the tiniest amount. So this will take me so long to go through. But yeah, it is the big big bottle. For lazy people like me. We love this kind of stuff because it is a body lotion you put on in the shower. A kind of gimme product in the beauty category is my Soella Pretty Palette Sugar Scrub Sugar Peeling. I'm pretty low on this, so it should not be a problem to go through this. Um, I don't. I only scrub like once a week or something, and yeah, it should not be a problem. But they take me ages to go through. A body lotion is from the body shop. It is a body butter I bought in like 2015. And I'm so sad that they don't make it every single Christmas. It is the glazed apple. And I have a dip. So I am using this mostly on my legs because it is a body butter. And it is too heavy for my arms. And yeah. I love this one. I bought two when I realized I couldn't live without the scent. But now it is getting to a point where I'm just like, I need to use it. A hand cream that I deep potted into this container. It is from a body shop and this is a body shop container. But it is a hand cream and it is with the scent Almond. So it is a hand and nail cream. And this is how much I have left of that one. It is a beautiful hand cream. It smells amazing. So amazing and it haven't changed texture or anything but the packaging broke and I was so sad and it was getting everywhere so I departed it into this one 
uh, last year, I believe. The last item I have in this is my W7 Jelly Crush Lip Scrub. And I was in a period where I was really good with lip scrub. And then I started working on these and I can't put these in my shower. So that is why I am not going through uh, lip scrubs that fast anymore. And I don't use them on a regular basis. Because I can't use them in my shower. Because if I had them in my shower, I would use it twice a week. But I can't do that because the exfoliating sugar scrubs thingy thingy they melt in the shower when you put a wet finger into the pot so it doesn't have a purpose and this one amazing this one is in with some orangey tropical fruit yeah really amazing so this is the one and I think I have nice progress on it, but I would love to finish this one. I have three more. Not of the scent, but I have three more. So I believe that is 19 products. I hope it is. And yeah, my battery is dying. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe down below. And until my next video, please take care.